Hey, Canucks fans, I get asked this question a lot, so I'm going to ask you. If you could only choose one player, if you could only re-sign one of these two players, who would it be? Is it Jacob Markstrom or is it Tyler Toffoli? I'm Clay Emo. I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And as my Canucks take, all in one take, it's Clay's Canucks Commentary for Tuesday, March the 24th. I really hope that you are doing well, that you're staying safe, that you are physical distancing, social distancing, yes, I know that's the term, but I think we still got to be social in other ways, of course, online and on the phone and whatever it may be. But I, I truly hope, more importantly, that you are, are taking care of yourselves and of one another. And um, this is my first day uh, working from home. We've been going to the office for the past few weeks, but uh, today was the first day that we, uh, as a department, we, and, and with approval from our superiors, that we are indeed working from home. So um, I got up actually earlier than I usually do. Maybe I was excited to work from home or something, but it's been nice, but I, I just ran on a quick errand, and now I want to record this video, um, and then uh, before I get back in and back to my work day. And what I want to talk about today um, is basically, we know that the Canucks are going to have some challenges when it comes to salary cap. Whether it goes up or stays the same or goes down, we don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty, and I, I don't want to keep saying that throughout the video, but I think that's the, the, the big qualifier, is there's so much uncertainty. We don't know if there's going to be a season. We don't know if there's going to be playoffs. We don't know if the salary cap's going to go up or uh, go down. So we got to kind of gonna keep that always in the, in the back of our mind as the, the overall blanket qualifier. But we know that the Canucks only have about $18 million to spend, and they know they have to re-sign a lot of players, whether they're RFAs or UFAs. And that list includes Jacob Markstrom, Tyler Toffoli, Jake Vertanen, um, Troy Stetcher, Chris Tanev, Josh Levo, Oscar Fantenberg, Adam Gaudet. So there's already eight guys. I'm sure I'm missing a couple more, but there's already eight guys. You can simply see how they're not all going to fit under 18 to $20 million. And, um, you know, a lot of things have to happen depending on what they do with either Stetcher and or Tanev and things like that. But really, a lot of people are talking about just looking at the pure numbers. Are you going to be able to sign both Jacob Markstrom and Tyler Toffoli? Both of them are UFAs. Markstrom's probably in line for anywhere between five to six and a half million, depending on who you listen to. Toffoli's probably going to be looking for a raise over his five million. So he might be looking to five and a half, six million dollars. So obviously you can't pay both of those guys unless you do something drastic. So let's say the Canucks don't do something drastic and they can only keep one of those two, Markstrom or Toffoli. Who would it be for you and why? I thought about this a lot because I get asked this a lot, especially my live stream. And my answer has always been consistent. Just because I pick one guy, here I'm just kind of qualifying everything today. Here if I just pick one guy, it does not mean that I do not want the other guy. It does not mean that I, that I want the other guy to leave. I'm just trying to be as realistic as I can. And I would say if I had to pick one, I think it's more vital that the Canucks sign Jacob Markstrom. Now, as much as I, I, I want to fully, because I, I want to see what a, a top six of Pedersen, Miller, Toffoli, Horvat. Pearson and uh, Besser looks like. I want to see that. And we had one game of that before the season shut down. I want to see what that looks like. I want to see the one-two punch on right wing of Besser and Toffoli or Toffoli and Besser, whatever order you want to put them in. I love that. So I want to see that and I would love to see that happen. And it makes the Canucks power play more uh, more dangerous, both units, because of the trickle-down effect. It makes the Canucks, uh, you know, 5-on-5 five five more dangerous. And we saw Toffoli had 10 points in 10 games. So it was 10 games enough to get a good impression of Vancouver. Was it enough for the Canucks to make a good impression on him? Um, and, and especially management. So, and remember, the, there could still be a bit of a season left and playoffs left. So, yes, a lot of uncertainty, as I've said about 8,000 times already. But I love Tyler Toffoli's game. But you cannot deny the importance that Jacob Markstrom had this season and how important he is to our team. We've talked about the stats before that um, he's won, basically, he's responsible for eight wins almost on his own. Uh, and so those eight wins, obviously 16 points, uh, maybe you get a single point here and there. So maybe that's 10 or 12 points more than the Canucks wouldn't have had uh, before. So that's, that's pretty crazy. And obviously without those points, the Canucks are not in the playoff spot. Now, there are some people that are saying that, um, you know, with Jacob Markstrom, you can actually try and, and not lowball him, but play hardball with him a little bit in negotiations. And if he doesn't take it, let him walk. Yeah, it might not be the best asset management, or maybe you get a sense he's not going to take it. You try and trade him before whenever the, the new free agent deadline is of, of July 1. But maybe you trade him for an asset 
and you really put your cards in Thatcher Demko. You put your hope in Thatcher Demko, and then uh, you either bring up Di Pietro or likely bring in a, another veteran to to um, insulate Demko, or not even insulate, just back Demko up for a couple seasons to, until Di, Di Pietro's ready. So that's a school of thought. It saves your expansion draft problem. So that that's one school of thought saying don't sign Jacob Marshall. But I'm not sure how you can not at least attempt to make a good attempt at signing him. He bailed the Canucks out on so many games. He's a locker room leader. He's loved by the fans. He's good in the locker room from everything I hear. He's good in the community, good with the media, all these reasons. But the goalie market is the most fickle market of them all. And sometimes uh, goalies don't. You just look at Robin Leonard, who is such a good goalie, but he's signing one-year contracts here and there, getting traded here and there. Um, the goalie market is, is quite fluid, and it's obviously um, a buyer's market. So... Which one is it for you? Is it Jacob Marstrom or is it Tyler Toffoli? I, I've kind of laid out reasons for both and that's why it's a really tough decision for me. But I think for me, if push came to shove, it would be Markstrom over Toffoli by a hair. But I implore the Canucks, as if they listen to me, but I implore the Canucks to do whatever they can to sign both of those guys. Uh, even if it means at the expense of a guy like Tanev, Stetcher, Vertanen. Um, but the Canucks have a lot of time right now to be thinking about ways that they can be creative in, in trying to make it work if they are even leaning that way. Canucks fans, let me know what you think. Markstrom or Toffoli. Or one last thing I forgot to say is, is I think, uh, as I've talked about in other vlogs, we see how valuable Markstrom was when, when the Canucks kind of struggled for the past three weeks that he's been out. Now, Demko struggled at the start, but he picked up his game in the second half, the last three games. So it wasn't brutal, but it wasn't amazing either. So uh, maybe Demko simply needs more time and more seasoning. But I think we saw uh, in the recent run just how important Jacob Marshall is to this team. Okay, there we go. Now, answer the question if you haven't already. Pick one. Uh, I, you, you know, you might want to be like me and like, might want to sit on the fence and pick both. But if you had to pick one, who are you keeping next season and beyond? Jacob Markstrom or Tyler Toffoli? Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. And a couple of other quick programming notes. I'm going to film my next reaction video tonight. I'm going to react to the Vancouver Canucks 7-6 victory over the Colorado Avalanche on, from November 28, uh, 2018. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, so look for that tomorrow morning or tonight. Tonight or tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, will be my next live stream. Be having a lot of fun with them. Uh, great way to connect and engage with all of you, the viewers. So make sure you join me tomorrow night on YouTube, 10 o'clock for that live stream. Okay, there we go, Canucks fans. Mark Schumer to follow. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Take care of yourselves and of one another. Stay safe. Take care and go Canucks go.